I am so upset right now. My poor Windows 98 second edition CD is finally cracked right onto the green part, which is the image of the CD. The crack is so bad that you can see my finger through the other side. So it has cracked all the way through the plastic and I can no longer use it. I, I was amazed because my chunky laptop was able to read some of the of the CD but not all of it. And a while back I noticed that the crack was starting right in this area, right there. Then the crack kind of went on this little green ring and then all of a sudden I just opened up the case and realized oh the crack has gone right over that green line onto the image. And I kept saying to myself I gotta make a copy of the CD before it completely breaks. Did I do it? Nope. Never got around to doing it. What a bummer. Because I was going to install Windows 98 on my Dell Latitude XPI. It already has Windows 98 second edition installed, but I want a fresh um, load of Windows. Uh, I want a fresh load of Windows 98. You know, it, it's always good putting a fresh new operating system on because it makes the computer run faster. So, Silver Persim, which is one of my fellow friends on YouTube, asked me. Um, well, asked me about burning CDs, and this was a while back. Um, like I almost forgot about this. But the crack in the CD just triggered my memory, so now I remember. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to burn an operating system, or an ISO, to a CD. Now, if you're burning an operating system like Windows 7, you need DVDs. I don't know if you guys have a dollar store in the United States, but here in Canada, we have a dollar store. It's called Dollarama. And I buy these uh, two-pack verbatim uh, DVDs, and they're just $2, uh, $2 Canadian. Um, they're 4.7 gigabytes in size, and I really like these. Um, they also come with CDs, but they don't come in a a double pack. The CDs are only a dollar. The two pack of DVDs is only two dollars. And just one pack of DVDs is just one dollar. Hmm. That's awesome. And a long time ago at Dollarama, they used to make rewritable CDs. Well, they stopped selling those. Kind of a bummer, because I could really use some rewritable CDs, not DVDs. That'd be cool. So, anyway. Um, I'm currently in the middle of downloading Windows 98 Second Edition. Uh, let's see. What is this thing bitching about now? Downloading. Yes, I'm currently downloading Windows 98 Second Edition full. Apparently, the Windows 98 operating system on the CD is only 350 megabytes in size. This one is only 625 megabytes. That's that's more. So I think the one that's on that CD doesn't really have all the um, the drivers or whatever on it and I checked on the Pirate Bay and people said that um, the torrent works great um, they booted it on their CD drive and it installed Windows no problem and I already have the serial key so I'm good to go now the program that I use is narrow 
Um, some of you might not use Nero, but this is my main program that I use every single time when I burn stuff. So, we'll be right back. I just gotta wait for it to finish down, uh, finish downloading, and we'll get to the burning process. Okay, so the torrent's all done downloading. Um, I removed the torrent because it has already completed. So all I have to do is go into my documents. Uh, it depends how fast this computer is going to run. Go to downloads because this is this is where I save it and the ISO file looks like that very simple not that hard to identify and what I do is I find a CD try to take it out Pop the disk drive open. And close it. Jeez, I gotta put some friggin' oil on this chair. It's just squeaky. Gotta wait for a second, because it's gonna autoplay. Just as I predicted, close down autoplay double click the ISO which is this file right here it takes time narrow automatically opens up for you now make sure you have it set to the right thing that you want so if you're burning Windows 7 you set this to DVD or sometimes it will automatically be set to DVD mine is automatically set to CD so I don't need to worry about that everything looks good so I press the burn button now you just leave your computer alone I recommend you don't touch it or open any programs because if you do it's a 50-50 chance you might wreck your uh, burning process okay and we'll be right back when it's done burning and we'll test out the CD and see if it works after burning is complete the disk should pop out automatically and it should say burning process completed successfully and it tells you what speed and how many kilobytes so I take the disk out take a look at it looks like it's fine gotta get this chunky thing off my lap and see if this is gonna work Whoops. Jeez, that button's sticky. Okay, press any key to continue. Ah, oh, jeez. Damn it. This laptop just doesn't stop pissing people off. Holy crap.
and see if this works. Yep, see? Just like I predicted. Boo from CD-ROM. Start computer with, uh, start Windows 98 setup from CD. And there we go. We have Windows 98 on a burnable disk.